What's going on, guys? This is Eric Johnson. And Kevin Raymond. This is oh, episode four. Already, yeah, I think. Yeah. Here we go. Mr. Ula La is improving in technical. And Eddie Guerrero defeats him in 22-53 with a frog splash. I was about to say a flog splash. But Mr. Interesting. Eddie Guerrero have great chemistry. He gets to show off to a strong start because they know how to work together. Chris Benoit versus Norman Smiley. Uh, Norman Smiley has an average fun babyface gimmick. Well, I chose the correct winner of this match, making it Ben Walk because he had the better performance. Oh, my God. Stop doing him. <laughs> We've got to take that off him. <laughs> nah. That's his signature move, man. I can't. Savio Vega versus Brian Addius. Brian Addius is a good time. They don't work at all. Nice. There's two ways you could do this. Either never book them together in a match again, or you keep on booking them together and then might click one day. That's what I noticed. So try not to, but if that's the only combination I can think of, then that's what's gonna happen. So Vicious looked good. That's what we Okay. Thank you, Bischoff, for finally doing something right off script. But, well, but he was but Yeah, that was uh, Ouch. about dragged in the middle. I've never seen that in a Sid match before. I think either it was too long or Bob Holly just didn't work with him. Well, I don't know. That's what happened. Bob Holly held back. Limited psychology involved. Or, or, yeah, a road agent sucks, but, you know. But I'm pretty sure we sold out again, so there's that. That's actually the worst event yet. Oh, well. They can't all be winners. I think Sid did okay. I mean, Eddie obviously always does good. Yeah, we're trying to get these guys loyal to us. It's going to be tough as a local company, but. Benoit did pretty good. Sid was pleased. There we go. Seem pleased. Seem pleased. Seem pleased. Yeah, hey, at least Sid's turning our side. Oh, yeah, Mick. How much does Mick cost? Oh, too much. Retirement for Mick McManus. Oh. All right. What do, what do people think about our shit show? Tommy Vega can't sell anything work, worth a damn, in my opinion. Needs to learn how to work. Yeah, that's coming from Eddie, Savio. What does it say? What? It's just being a joke, saying that Savio can't work. It's like Eddie's a good worker, so what does that tell you? Where is uh, the sh Feedback's still been positive. There you go. That's all that matters. There you go. Four I'm momentum. Not, still in the green. There you go. We're little by little. Yes. Uh, big morale issues. Now you can give him a hundred dollars. Maybe he'll shut up. Hundred bucks. Still angry. Now he's just angry. All right. Give him another hundred. We can afford it. Yeah. You know what? I'll give you two hundred. That works. We're, still, we're in the green, so 200. Still angry. Whatever. Oh, well. At least there's a couple positives to get him to shut up. I really hope. He, he won't does. leave right away. I hope he doesn't All right, end him up. notice. If he does, then we'll just hire a new one. And I have a younger guy that fun. Yeah, we have a younger guy. He's a little bit Canadian. but He's a little bit Canadian, and his for some reason he likes to say Italian sayings. Maybe he's Canadian-Italian. Maybe. I mean, his name sounds it. Or Italian-Canadian. Yeah. Actually, yes, his last name is Italian. I 
I think he also likes to commentate combat sports in general. What about you? Yes, he does. Uh, I think he's part of your Bellator series. Yes, he is. He is also with Mike Goldberg and Quentin Rampage Jackson. <laughs> Every time I think of Mike Goldberg, the only thing I can think of is Mike, there's a Sasquatch in the ring and he's strangling. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's an invisible ghost in the ring and he's trying to take him down. Oh, my God. I can't believe it, Mike. I have to watch those glitches again. I love the commentary. Oh, the commentary oh. is the best. If you haven't gotten a chance yet, if you've ever not seen them, since we do do WMMA videos on this channel, please just look up UFC glitches. It is just the funniest thing ever. Not the glitches specifically. Just the bad Joe Rogan and Mike commentary. Actually, uh, Mike Goldberg actually sounds pretty good. The dude who does Mike Goldberg. It's amazing. Sounds just fucking like him. The Joe Rogan one's just to over exaggerate it, like obnoxious. Like make, it's funny making fun of how Joe Rogan gets obnoxious sometimes. Well, yeah, because most of the time when there's a knockout, oh, oh! yeah, I think limiting us ourselves to local is actually a really good thing for us. Well. And, uh, it lets us set up, uh, uh, set us uh, set ourselves up financially. So when we go small, we can well, at least the financial changes ain't gonna fucking make us go bankrupt. Yeah, so I mean, we're gonna be pretty fine. We're gonna just save up funds. And then once we hit small, is when we can start bringing in our one night. Right. What I like about the simulation is it goes quick. I mean, there's not that many workers. And there's not that many companies. The 2016 mod we had that Oh, one? God. It took so long. I think it also didn't help that I had a shitty laptop. That didn't help either. But I mean, oh, like, yeah, no, these this, episodes, this, this I don't know how long they're going, but I feel like they could be like 10 minutes long, this which would be the shortest series ever. This gaming laptop's processor is amazing. He's now toned. I was about to say, don't tell me he turned into a... Oh, God, Norman Smiley had a body change. He's now fucking ripped. What the hell is IWCCW? International World Class Wrestling. Okay, well, can I just say something? Yeah, That's yeah, useless because yeah. he's, he's currently training for a fight. He won't be back. I don't think they're a big company. Yeah, can I see how much Mick Foley would be so we can shortlist them? I think he's going to be too much. He's in that IWCCW's Cactus Jack. Oh, wait a minute. 600. Six. There yes. you go. Yes. One new face. Just the one. And he's coming in as Cactus Jack. He's hard. There you go. Though. Well, we're not a hardcore-based company, so he'll look hardcore. Right. The look is... I was going to say, we're going to have, like, uh, let's see, Cactus Jack. Yeah, I think that kind of fits a Southern style. Yeah. But well, he's like an outlaw, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that. Okay, hopefully we can. We're eh, down 887. I, I think we're still going to make a profit. I mean, you still got a while to go. By the time we usually hit our first show is when we... I mean, we're so favorable to sponsorship, it's not even funny. Because we're kind of a mainstream product, that's why. Yeah. And we don't have anything edgy. Nope. Which, and then the 90s come, and then it just all hell breaks loose. Well. The, the mid-90s. The late 80s was the best time to make a wrestling promotion. Plus that rising economy. Right, helps. Exactly. I'm saying in real life, it's definitely the best time to make. Ooh, Kurt Hennig uh, quits. I wonder why. I mean, he's fucking extremely popular right now. I wonder why he quit that company. Yeah, see, so too popular. I don't know why either. Is it in the news? Yeah, hold on. There we go. 
Buzzing with the news that Kurt Hennig is gone from the promotion. A noticeable no-show at ECWA Belief. Apparently, a dispute over late payments has been bubbling over the over for a few weeks. It led to him simply not showing up last night. Ooh, Lanny who in drug death? What? A drugs-related death by Lanny Keene. Uh, That's interesting. It's actually a narrative. Bruiser Brody might still this, die. This the, We've still got a few the, months. This is the steroid era. Yeah, that means Bruiser Brody may still get murdered. Yeah, if it's that, in. Yeah, that narrative still could be in there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Mick Foley is signed. A heel. Oh. That would actually make our face heel divide even. Yeah, he can do either one. It don't matter. Yep. Heel. wonder what it is push. Uh, that's a good question. Push. Main eventer. He's a main eventer. Holy shit. Gives us another guy to work with. And because he's got strong entertainment. Oh, yeah, he's got, 28. He's got, he's got good Mid-South, that's why. Plus, he's a good promo. So we have some new, someone new to be interviewed, which will get him over quicker. Entertainment's on average, actually. We know how Mick Foley is, though. He's very charismatic. See, right there. Very charismatic. Number three. There you go. The debut of Cactus Jack at the next show. We should actually name it something like... He's what is his gimmick? Psycho. Make him Cactus Jack, though. Maybe it'll. Ch He's still a psycho. Yeah. Yeah. I believe that's what the Cactus Jack uh, gimmick is. Brawler. Yeah. Brawler. Okay. All right, guys. Well, stay tuned for the next episode. Well, actually, no, we still got a week to see if we even up. We will. I just think it was great that we stayed in the positive. And I think if we just keep letting Bischoff do his unscripted stuff, even if he looks like a tool bag, he won't leave. Nick Brockwinkle. Bockwinkle. Warren Bockwinkle. Okay. Eric Bischoff hands in notice. <laughs> I was about to say, what? TNT. Pretty sure that's Savio Vega. Yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah, it is. It said it. You, Savio Vega. That was just his name in it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now he works for us. I wonder why he quit. Does someone want a pay rise request? What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> um, he wants 800. 880. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, no, we can't afford that. What if I just give you... Hmm. Like, dude, you know we're a local company, right? We're not gonna pay you eight hundred and eight. I'll give you fifty percent of what you're at. I'll give you two hundred forty. Um, you know what? Actually, go fuck yourself. Absolutely furious. He's gonna walk out on us. Just annoyed. Oh no, he's just annoyed. So he won't. Yet, Eric Bischoff's more likely to walk out before he does. He's got. Big morale issues. I don't know what the hell to do to get him. <sighs> Just keep booking him the way he wants, because then I'm pretty sure that'll at least appease him to the point where he won't walk out. Yeah.
the fuck? Who else wants their pay rise request? How much, Benoit? Wants a three hundred and forty dollar. Oh, why? Yes, you are kind of more important, but tell you. But we. I'll I'll give you a hundred and seventy dollars of it. He's annoyed. It's like, what do you expect? Full. I wanted a full pay rise, asshole. It's like, just shut up. We're a local company. He wants a better push. Expect? Okay, fine. I'm gonna auto push everyone. There. He's a main eventer now. Oh, uh, he's got thirty-four now. Hmm. Fifty. Yeah, we gotta put the title. What is Sid's overness here? It's gotta be, it's gotta be good. Uh, twenty-five. Yeah, I think we found our new ch Started at 12. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just found a new champ, though. That dude just keeps rising arc here. Well, he kind of lost two, two points. It was at 52. See? He's yeah. It's because we have him losing. I mean, he won, but I don't know if he got the pinfall. Now we give it to Eddie. Mm -hmm. I think our fast rising star here is Chris Benoit. Oh my God! Yeah, it is. <laughs> he's rising. I think that's, that that also helps. He's in a couple other promotions. Well, he's gone for a while. That's the thing about him. I don't know. You say send the next show, even though we don't have one. Yeah. <laughs> we should make that then, so you can do that. Uh oh. Yep. Eric Bischoff left. Wow! Uh, what a dick. He's a well, let's let's hire a new announcer. Let's hire that Canadian. We don't know who we're talking about, and it's not obvious. It's Mario Ronaldo. <laughs> he only works in He only works in Canada. Oh my god. Oh, Why? Okay. Never mind. I could have sworn it said works in the USA too, but apparently not. Maybe he doesn't have his passport yet. Maybe. Uh it's one cheat, please. Probably a lot. Yeah, he's got a high announcing rating. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Billy K. Oh, Billy K. Yeah, that guy from uh, EWA or whatever. There you go. We got a new one. I wonder if he hates you now. See if you can get him for four f something. That's the lowest. Three eighty. Oh, you son of a bitch. I didn't even hit. I didn't even hit make new offer yet. How the hell? Yeah, you did. You just hit cancel. Yeah, Apparently I know. Game Look, right, you do this. You want to make it official? I didn't make it official. I said no. Yeah, I don't know. The game's just saying nope. Can't get out of it. Why? I didn't hit yes. I don't know. You should only do that if you hit yes, right? Well, Eric Bischoff's leaving anyway, so you might as well just release them. I can't believe you got. It. I can't believe you left me. You're a fucking prick. You're a fucking asshole. Hunt. Does he hate you now? No. Hey, from one Eric to another, kiss my fucking ass. Yeah, we. You should probably just make your next show. We did not make much money this time around. There. Let's see. He's a fucking asshole. Well, granted, he's just mad that we wouldn't let him be unscripted. Even though he, the one well, time well, he, he, the did. way we handled the incident of him yelling at a fucking fan. That too. How should we allowed to yell at fans? Well, we better hope Billy Kay signs within the next couple of days. What's going on? 
Our new announcer. He cut a shoot interview with a popular wrestling website. What what website? It's 1988. Yesterday, yeah, I don't know. Big names for their attitude problems. Called out the called out the promotion over some payments that he said he's owed. There has been no comment from the promotion. A lot of interesting stuff. Era is fired from Glow. Strong camera. She's a baby face. She'd have, yeah, but we don't have women's wrestling, so she'd just be a. Yeah, valet. Well, how long, how much she won? That's the problem. 290. All right, there you go. You got another valet. Just Wonder why she's gone. What, what if it's just a bad attitude problem? It's said because of a bloated roster. Ah. Uh. So there you go. Hey, this girl was the, on Glow. She's now one of our managers. Their bloated roster at the door may be open for her to return in the later. You should just, like I said, just release Eric Bischoff. He's a fucking. Oh, look, we moved up. Now we're number thirty. There you go. It's still a local company. Yep. We finished last out of eight. I'm not surprised. It's like, yeah, we're not really trying to win yet. We're just trying to make money. Uh, we lost momentum because of it, too. Ah, oh, damn. Well, we still have our prestige, and that's all that matters. Eric, uh, you're in the week of June. You might want to make your June show. We made 1,178. Well, we also lost money because we gave it to Bischoff to try to get him to stay. Yeah, we would have had 1,400. Fucking dick. That's what we should tell. No escape. He's like, you know what? I'm just going to stick to AWA. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck. It's like, who cares? You're still technically an alumni here, dum dum. Retaliation. Are we still able to have it on Thursday? Yeah. Yep. In the debut of Cactus Jack in the next episode. Yeah. Are we really already in June? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Tally All right, next. Hey, Bischoff. Wait, we might still need him. I don't know if uh, he'll make it. I don't know if we have that much time left with him. He might be gone just before the show. No, no, no. no. It was on Sunday. So, yeah, he'll still be able to make the show. Might not take it as seriously, though. We're hoping Probably not. Signs. I think he just did. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Okay. A D plus announcing. Son of a bitch. All right, Bischoff. I got some news for you. You're fired! Okay. He is the first person ever fired from a Southern Wrestling Alliance. Well, we tried. <laughs> I don't know what to say. All right, two days to get over $7,000. You're fired! <laughs> you fired. Lord Humongous. My favorite wrestler of all time is Hugh G. Rection. Oh, did we get a what's-her-name to sign on show day? Yeah, we did. So who's she going to manage? She's a face. Authority figure. Ooh, actually, she might. Okay. We'll have a female authority figure. I like this. That, that's different. I mean, it's like Dix Dixie Carter. She yes. left. She left Glow to become the authority here. That should be interesting. Yeah, that's the story. I left Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling to run this promotion. 
Yes, I finally came out of the backstage area. Okay. You've not designed any default announcers. You're gonna have to assign Billy Kay before you go to the show. Yes, I know. Oh. oh my god. Oh well, we're a local Someone company. Eric Bischoff left and said, "Go fuck yourselves." I'm your <laughs> announcer, Billy Kay. Yeah. <laughs> oh hey, it's over seven thousand four hundred and one dollars. Oh, that prestige is falling. Ouch. Ouch. How do you check the prestige? Oh, there we go. Ouch. I honestly think we should put it on that other guy. I know his popularity is falling, but maybe the title he needs. He's more over than... What happened to Sid? He's an upper mid now? <laughs> what? Because of Cactus Jack. What now the, the top heel. What the fuck? So Sid loses the title tonight, and then Cactus Jack is now able to. Yeah, that's, that's what's going to have to happen, huh? Or too cool. Who is the... Brian, yeah, Brian Addis is now number one, so that, that that's what's going to happen here. And Eddie Guerrero fell. Wow. Yeah. Too cool Scorpio should now be the primary heel. All right, there you go. All right, we're good. Okay, then. Three heels and one face in the main event scene. I don't like that. <laughs> That's not good, but a fa at least a face. Uh... Why is he upper mid? Why, 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 why? No. He's, he's always been an upper mid, I thought. No. We need another main event face. See, look. Now he's the number one. See, like, why was it, why is he not a main eventer? <laughs> the first I guess when you auto-pushed everyone, it thought he should be an upper mid. That's wrong. Okay. So what, Eddie beats Sid or Brian beats Sid since he's more over? Should we put Brian Addy since he's 30? Is our chance? I think. Okay, his, his popularity's moving back up. But. Yeah, I think he gets the title off of Sid tonight. Yeah. Which will then give Benoit a chance at the title, which will give Cactus Jack a chance at the title. Eddie's number one in Showstoppers. Chris Benoit's number one in Ring General. Ryan Addie is too. I want to see an Eddie Guerrero versus Chris Benoit match at this time. That'd be sick. Okay. All right, but we'll see you guys in the next episode for Retaliation. We'll see you.